Maine's only major organic milk producer has shut down. Moo milk comes from Maine cows and is processed here in Maine before it hits the shelf. WMCW News 8's Lindsay Lipman is in China to explain what the shutdown means for you and for farmers. Well, some of the milk from Maine's own organic is provided by these cows, but a processing problem is shutting down production. The milk is not for the faint of heart. Spencer Atel chose to be an organic dairy farmer. He wasn't born into this business, but it's in his blood. It's, it's incessant, it's just crazy, it's hard on the bod, but most of us wouldn't give it up. We're just always curious to see how that next heifer calf turns out. He and 11 other farms provide raw milk to Maine's own organic milk, and it's been a sunny relationship. The decision to go with a local dairy was philosophical. We really wanted to take our production and bring it home. Moo milk has been processed at Smiling Hill Farm in Westbrook until two days ago. The carton filler donated by Oakhurst was breaking down and starting to affect the product, according to Moo Milk CEO Bill Eldridge. We just felt it wasn't in the consumer's interest or our interest to have that, and so we made the hard decision to shut down processing. Well, the darn thing about all this is that the market is there. People want to buy the product. We were doing great. Now, the last cartons of Moo Milk are already on the shelf. And for the next 90 days, raw organic milk from Moo Milk suppliers will head to New Hampshire's Stony Field Farm. Our first concern is our farmers. Um, they're paramount in our mind. If we can guarantee them a home, then our basic mission is continued. The shutdown is already causing a ripple effect that goes far beyond the farm. All our fans are just totally, totally devastated. And our customers, people like Casco Bay Butter, um, that makes all of their butter from our milk, are just, they're looking at being out of business. Eldridge says if he didn't see the glass or carton half full, he wouldn't have started the company. Yes, I'm always optimistic, but it, it's a hard road to haul. Maybe there's a plan B for us. I'd like to think so. Moo Milk is still hopeful that a solution can be found to keep the brand going. In China, Lindsay Littman, WMTW News 8.